Hey guys, Paul here from PA Brew News, and right now we're going to do an A Inger of Weizenbach. There we go. And there we go. Let's put down some bleach stuff so hopefully it doesn't ruin the review. Wow. This is really light colored. As soon as I hear Bach, I always think of that really dark amber color. Oh, but it's sweet smelling. Definitely sweet smelling. This is a nice combination. You have that lovely coriander, ripe banana. You're getting a little bit of that dark brown sugar. A lot, of, a lot of dark fruits, raisins. Mm, all mixed together nicely. There's a, lot, a good amount of carbonation going on. And a very nice sedimentation. Really, really, really mixed up nicely. Let's give it a go. Cheers. Mm. That's tasty. It just tastes like a really rich, really rich Heffy Bison, but just bumped up just that much more. That little bit of a spice and that overripe banana really comes through. Man, excuse the well pump. That's good. Surprisingly drying though. It's not like a really uh, lingering, sickening sweetness. It kind of dries out. It just gives you a slight residual flavor in the mouth. It does fill you up though because it does have a very good amount of carbonation. Oh no though. I'm gonna give this one a nine. It's a nine. The A Inger Weisenbach. It's just well done. It's been crafted over the centuries and it's excellent. It's been Paul for PA Brew News. Cheers.